everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Welcome to my video. This video is all about the cruise business in Florida, but more specifically, I'm here to talk to you about Port Canaveral. The economic numbers are coming out and they're unbelievable. By the way, thank you for subscribing to Traveling with Bruce and giving my videos thumbs ups. Hit the bell notification icon. You'll get alerts every time I issue a new video. Consider joining us on a group cruise. Amber and Travel have teamed up with us. We're going on the Harmony of the Seas. We're going to Coco Key. We're going to St. Thomas. We're going to St. Kitts. And if you want to join us on a group cruise, December 2020, just see the link down below. Here is a satellite image of Florida. And you can see here on the far right-hand side, uh, you'll notice that little dot right there. That is where Port Canaveral is located, just south of the Kennedy Space Center. Um, this area here is booming. The uh, port, which you can see right here, is now hosting a number of cruise lines for home porting. To give you an idea, uh, Carnival Home Ports here, Disney has ships home porting here, Royal Caribbean and Norwegian. The big four have got ships coming in out of here all the time. Here's another view of the the area around the port. You can see at the bottom of the picture there where uh, the three uh, three of the cruise ships are, are docked. They can handle seven or eight ships a day. That's how big this facility is, and it is still expanding. Cruise lines are building brand new um, home facilities here for their passengers to embark and disembark. It's really booming. The area all around the area here, doing very well. A lot of hotels being built. Um, lots of parking being made available for vehicles, for day uh, travelers. And of course, you have great connections from uh, the uh, airport in Orlando. Now, to give you some idea of the stats, in 2018, the total economic impact that uh, was happening here, $2.59 billion dollars. 23,745 jobs are uh, exist because of this home port here. Uh, $910 million in wages are being paid out per year. $74 million in taxes are being earned. The area, like the Kennedy Space Center, is drawing zillions of tourists. A lot of the cruisers check this area out when they visit here. 53% of the passengers that get on cruise ships in Port Canaveral, they spend a night in a hotel the night before, at least one night, and they are spending an average of $362 in their, for their stay before they even get on the ship. This is hotels, food, shopping, and sightseeing. A lot of people who come in here and just drive in, they're spending $73 in the typical day that they're here because they're doing the same thing. They're coming in nice and early. They're checking a few things out. Then they're getting on their ship in the afternoon. A third of all the passengers that come to this uh, port, they fly in and they fly basically into Orlando. And the uh, 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 port estimates that for every million dollars spent by visitors in direct spending, equals 17 full-time jobs working out to $40,300 a year. So this region here is really benefiting with a lot of employment because of cruise ship passengers like you and me. Thanks again for subscribing and giving my video thumbs ups, by the way. This uh, entire region of Florida, uh, Miami, uh, uh, Fort, uh, Lauder, or Port, uh, Fort Lauderdale and Port Canaveral and Tampa, 35% of all the world's cruises start and end in Florida. And of course, Florida is generally where you go if you want to take a cruise to the Caribbean. Uh, most of the cruises to the Caribbean start and end in Florida. And you can sur sure see here by this night shot, the lighting of uh, all the cities along the coast. And you can see offshore, just on the far right there, you can see uh, Freeport, Bahamas, uh, Grand Bahama. You can see the little islands lit up there. The cruise ships head there, and it's only 45 to 60 miles away from the coast of the USA. You're in another country, another world. People love it, and you can sure see why. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And this is Bruce with Traveling with Bruce saying we'll see you next time. Bye for now.